Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with uh, employees and specifically with select dependent drop down here. So when we select this country, we display only the states belong to this country. And the same thing when we select this state, we display only the cities belong to this state. Okay, now let's work with the, uh, if I open the notes here we need to work with user management and here we have create update and delete users change the password and search user by username and email okay so let's go and work with that first we need to create the user resource so in my terminal i'm going to say php artisan make filament-resource and give it the name which is in this case is a user okay now let's open the VS code and let's see in the filament we have this user resource okay now I'm going to open also the table plus and see what fields we need for the user so let's open the filament employees okay and for the user, we need the name, the email, email verified that is null, and the password. So name, email, and the password. Okay. Let's go. And I'm going to open the department here, and I'm going to copy this card. And use it in the user resource. So import first the card filament forms components card okay and also let import the text input we need the name the email and the password so let's make the name to be required and let's add also the max length to be 255 okay now after this one let's create again text input make not password but make e email and we need to add a label i'm going to say here email address okay next let's add the required because it's going to be required also i'm going to add the max length here to be 255 okay and let's work now with the password so text input make password okay for the password i'm going to say required but i don't want required when we edit the user so maybe we change only the name and the email so here i'm going to say add a closure and say page dollar sign live wire it's going to be a uh, boolean okay and not true but true if the live wire so the page is instance of the create record okay filament resource pages okay and now we are okay with the uh, required let's add also the mean length 
to be 8 or 6, what you want. Next one, what we can do, I'm going to add also the password confirmation. So I'm going to say this one is going to be the same as the password confirmation. So password confirmation and we need one more thing to add here. So we need to hash the password so we can say dehydrate state using oh we are using this one closure get the state and say here hash make okay import the facade hash make the state very good now let's work with the password confirmation so text input make password confirmation and say now this one is add the label for password confirmation like this and also this one is going to be required but it's going to be required if this is of create record okay if we create in the user because it's if not creating the user it's not it's not going to be required and also let's add here also the mean length to be eight the same as the password okay next i'm going to say dehydrated to be false okay because this uh, i don't want the password confirmation as a field to update or to create a user we need only the password and also now the password when we edit i don't want to, if this is empty to override the password so i'm going to say also here say dehydrate dehydrated to be a closure get the state and say fillet the state dollar sign state here so if we don't have the text input and why we have two here so if we don't pass anything to the password is going to add the password we have and i think we are okay so we add the required mean length to be eight we add the label for the password confirmation and let's we don't add the type so this is going to be type of password very good the same thing here and i think we are okay so if i save and let's go and check now first let's refresh here we have the users and let's create a new user and let's say test user give it the test.com give it the password password confirmation and say create user created and we are in the edit okay let's open my table plus and refresh of course we have the password hashed here very good now if i want to change only the name for example let's say test again or just test updated save and saved go to the users uh, we don't show the users yet here so let's refresh yeah we have the test updated go and edit again this one 
remove the name and let's change the password okay save and we have saved and now let's see here so look at this if it's going to change yeah very good okay friends now let's uh, work with the table here and i'm going to copy what we have in the state so let's copy and sorry let's paste in the columns here we need to import as well text column for the id for the name for the email and the email is going to be searchable okay because we have in the notes search users by name and email and let's add the created that okay if I save and let's go the browser refresh, we have the name, email and create a dot. And if I search for admin, OK, let's search for at admin. We have only that, that user. Very good. And I think we are OK here. Now what we need other. We don't need anything. So go here and user management, create, update, delete, change the password and search user by name and email. Okay, friends, uh, that's it about this video and see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you like a content like this, subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one. All the best.